As you may or may not have seen in my first short, I spent some time last weekend at Peggy's Cove, a really beautiful scenic spot with geology that is just out of this world. Living in Nova Scotia my whole life, I know the ocean is certainly a beautiful thing to behold, but it can also be very dangerous too. So you always have to exercise caution whenever you're enjoying your time by the sea. But it's well worth it. I was there at low tide. You can tell by the coloration on the rocks what's usually underwater. It's pretty cool because sometimes you can find little critters. Today I just found these guys hanging out. Nobody's home here. If you ever want to challenge yourself and practice drawing texture, try seashells. The whole purpose of the trip to Peggy's Cove was to gather inspiration to probably paint a pretty coastline scenery. Probably with a lighthouse like this one. And then I posted my short and something rhythmic made a suggestion that I liked. Not the part about the breaking into a lighthouse, but the part where he suggested we hunt Dragonite. Like I said in my Fear of the Duck video, I don't tend to do sketches on the canvas first. If I'm doing it for myself or for you guys here on YouTube, we're just here to have some fun. So it's more of an impressionistic approach I take. Just kind of roughing in where I want certain shapes and values to be. This is the only palette knife I own. It actually came in a sketch box back when I had a subscription. So it's not like I even planned to have it, but every now and then I just break it out, have fun and practice, and really that's the only way to get better. There's lots of videos on YouTube with people sharing their wisdom, so that's a wonderful resource. I'm definitely glad I had the chance to go stand down in the rocks at Peggy's Cove before I did this, because it's quite a different landscape to try to paint. Though I'm not necessarily trying to make this look exactly like Peggy's Cove, that's the sort of vibe I'm going for. I'm kind of limited in my lighting options right now. I'm hoping one day to have the budget to change that. But in the meantime, I find I have to stop more often than I normally would because shiny paint doesn't show up all that well on camera. So I have to stop and let it dry so you guys can actually see what I'm doing, which helps. I'm sure you guys prefer it that way. Also, the longer I spend on any one piece brings with it the fact that the sun is moving across the sky and I rely heavily on natural lighting coming through the windows so you can see what I'm doing. Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to say is please bear with me and thank you for always being so kind and patient with my production quality. So I'm fairly happy with how the rocks are looking. I just kept going in with various darks and lights in my paint palette to create textures and I played with it until I was happy. I wish I could tell you exactly what I did or how I did it, but trial and error essentially, just trial and error. That's how I learn best sometimes. It takes me a little longer, but it's always worth it when we get there. So here I go with that Crayola airbrush again. I'm just trying to create some interesting, very, very faint je ne sais quoi in the background, just so it's not a flat matte black. I'm also kind of refining the lighthouse and working on it bit by bit as it dries. One thing that I do that I haven't mentioned before is I often use iridescent paints or certain iridescent paints to bring focus to certain areas. There's iridescent paint in the water here. I've never really brought it up because it doesn't really show up on camera, but trust me, it's there. With a dry sponge brush, in just a very, very little bit of black or white, I'm dry brushing 
texture and sky over top of the marker that was in the background so it's kind of all mixing together i'm going for moody i guess is what i'm trying to say and uh, here i am splashing some sea spray on and there's no real method to my madness there at peggy's cove water's crashing everywhere so that's what i'm trying to uh, create and last but not least here to kick off the nova scotian tourism season is is it Dragonite? I don't know. Maybe. At this point it could be Barney the Dinosaur. Nah, it's definitely Dragonite. Paint pens because I feel more comfortable and that took way too long to risk messing up now. I like acrylic paint because it is forgiving. Also, I apologize for my hair flashing on screen. I had to get kind of close to see what I was doing. If you've watched this far, comment hair down below in the comments. Let's confuse the people that don't watch my videos through. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I have a lot more adventures I'd like to take you guys on with me and a, a lot more art to make.